Today we'll take a look at the new GoodNotes beta features. Apart from being able to create a notebook, right now you can also create a whiteboard or a text document. There are also some major changes to the toolbar as well as some new GoodNotes AI features. So let's go over everything and see if this is something you should be excited about. I'll show you how each one of them works and how you might use them, whether you're studying, running projects, or planning your week. According to GoodNotes, their vision goes beyond simply capturing notes, it's about developing them. So they want you to brainstorm on an infinite canvas, craft documents in a Notion style editor, or use AI to extract clarity from your messy pages. The first thing you notice is that there's a new way of creating documents. When you click new, you can create a notebook, a text doc, or a whiteboard. We can also still import, quick record, and everything else that we used to before. This just gives us the ability to create the two new document types. Before we dive into whiteboard and text doc, I'm going to show you what the new toolbar looks like in GoodNotes. As you can see, there are some pretty big changes. The main tool is now the lasso, which stays pretty much the same. You can use the freehand or the rectangle option. All of the settings also remain the same. The main thing, in my opinion, is that all of the writing tools are now under one icon, under this pencil tool. So here you'll find all of the tools that you're used to, so the pencil, eraser, standard pencil, highlighter, and tape tool. The line width settings and the color palettes are also located here. Everything else is in the top toolbar. So text tool, elements, image tool, shapes, and sticky notes. There are some changes to the shapes tool, but we will go over those when we open the whiteboard. In the upper part of the toolbar, you'll also find your AI icon and the read only mode. There used to be a pencil icon in the top right corner that used to take you into read only mode. So this will take some time to get used to, but I do like the new change. Let's create a new whiteboard file to see what it's all about. You can choose from dot grid, graph, or blank backgrounds. This is not working for me at the moment, but I'm sure they will update that and fix it before it's launched. You can also choose the color of the page. Once you're in the whiteboard, it will behave like an infinite canvas. They say that this is probably their most requested feature ever. So this is great for mind maps, lesson planning, or just dumping all of your ideas in one place. You can freely zoom in or out until it feels comfortable to write. I've already used it for brainstorming project outlines and it feels like a big step forward compared to flipping through notebook pages. As always, the rough shapes auto snap cleanly or right now you can also use presets like rectangle, circle, triangle, diamond. They also gave us quite a few options to edit the stroke. So like you can use the solid, dashed or dotted lines. You can choose the fill color opacity and width. What's also great are the new connectors. So you can use straight or curved and these stay attached when you move shapes. So this is great for quick diagrams. Let's tap new and text document to create a new file. It does feel very notionish, which I'm not against. Let's add a title here. I was trying to use the scribble mode with my pencil, but I was having trouble with that. I'm guessing it's something that will be fixed in the future. There is table support, so you can add, remove rows, columns, merge cells, borders, and background fills. Selection also lets you change text and highlight colors, convert to a block type, add links, etc. It does remind me of Notion because if you type slash, you can see all of the blocks that you can add. So headings, bulleted lists, code, table, quote, divider, and so on. It's very easy to add tasks, which I do find very useful. You can drag the handle to reorder blocks. Uh, you can also add images that can be aligned and resized. There's also an option for toggles, and this is great for revision. 
The Good Notes AI can also be accessed through the text docs. Let's see what it's like in action. I'm just gonna tell it to write about tech trends. As you can see, it does work pretty quickly, but of course make sure to double check if all of this info is accurate. What's excellent about TechZox is that you can also record your voice here as well. So you can record all sorts of voice notes. So I would say that this is definitely an, an amazing tool to use during meetings and you can access the transcript as well. This was also a little bit buggy at the moment, but I'm guessing that this will be very useful. Uh, because you will, you will be able to review all of your meeting notes or review your lesson. Instead of using a transcript, you, you can also have the AI assistant generate a summary of the recording notes. And that's definitely something to look forward to. This is a great segue to talk about the GoodNotes AI features. So when you click the icon, uh, you will have three options. So you can view it floating, you can have a windowed view or the sidebar. I definitely prefer the sidebar, so I'm gonna stick with that one. Let's have it generate a diagram based on the text on this specific page. I've made the text a little bit smaller so that we have space for the diagram. Here you can also choose the type of diagram and the colors. So let's see what it comes up with. And here it is. So you can copy or save to your gallery. This time I'm just gonna copy it and add it to the page. And that's what it looks like. Pretty good if you ask me. You can use this chat just like you would in ChatGPT or any other LLM. You can have it summarize this page or you can have it summarize an entire document, which I think would be very useful if you're studying and you want to get a summary of your lecture notes. So you've got whiteboard for big visual thinking and text document for structured typing. The diagramming tools feel solid and the toolbar is faster once it clicks and once you get used to it. Everything needs a little bit of polish, but it's beta, so that's normal. Thank you for watching. Let me know which feature you are most excited to try and I'll see you next time.